What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to take a look at a Salesforce SQL interview question. Let's get into it. Now I specifically picked this one because it's available for free on stratuscratch.com without having a subscription. So you can give it a try right now and come back to this video once you're done or you can just watch this video and then give it a try yourself. I'm going to have a link in the description for you to find the question. Apart from that, let's get into it. So this one's called highest target on the manager. It's marked as medium and asked by Salesforce. Our task is to find the highest target achieved by the employee or employees who works under the manager ID 13. We should output the first name of the employee and the target achieved. The solution should show the highest target achieved under manager ID 13 and which employee or employees achieved it. Now target probably refers to a sales target. We have a field in here which is called target and is just a number. We can take a look at the table we have here which is called Salesforce employees and yeah so you can see we have an ID, first name, last name, some more information as well as the target. We also have the manager ID here and I see an example of the manager ID being 13 so that's looking good. We don't have any other table here but this is a bigger one, bigger table. Anyways, let's check back on what the question actually asked for us. We should find the highest target achieved by employees who work under the manager ID 13. So we need to find the highest target and then get every employee that has that highest value. So there's two ways to really do this that come to mind and I'm going to go through both of them. You might have seen a bunch of these questions but this one is just a good exercise for you to try it yourself if you haven't yet. And yeah, repetition or practice makes perfect. So two different approaches. Approach one would be using max and then approach two would be using a rank window function. Let's start with approach number one. This one, this question allows us to just use max because we just want to check for the maximum value of the target achieved. So let's select the max target value from this table called Salesforce employees and let's make sure the manager ID is 13. So that should give us the highest value, the highest target achieved and that's what we're looking for. The highest target achieved of employees who work for manager ID 13 and now we just need to get the name of anyone that has that target. So what some people would want to do is to check that the target is the max target in one where condition, but that is not possible because you need to calculate the maximum first before you can compare it to another row. So that's what we're doing here, pretty much. Let's just put that into parentheses and let's check for that value. So we want to select an employee. Let's look at the expected output to see which columns we need. We need the first name and the sales target from Salesforce employees where our target is the value of the highest target. Does that make sense? So we did calculate what the highest sales target was under manager ID 13 and now we just select the name and the target value just because they want it from our initial table and we make sure the target is the maximum value. So if we do this, and this is not going to be complete yet because now we select from this entire table and yeah there could be someone working for another manager other than manager ID 13. So I'm going to add manager ID here too to make that clear. If we run it again we see we have the ones that work under manager 13 but we also have Mick and Adam who work under manager 11 and 19. So we need to once again add to that where filter. So this is where the where filter starts. Target should be that max value and then the manager ID should be 13. That should do the trick. Let's see if that is accepted. 
it's not because I still include manager ID and it's not part of the expected output. Oops, but now it should be accepted. All right, so that's the max solution, this one. Let's start with the rank window function solution. So usually if we had the case where we should give out the two or three or four or five high sales target targets and the employees, then we wouldn't be able to use max because with max we only get the highest value, one value. If we wanted to get more than just the highest, we would need to create a rank and then filter based on that rank. We can still do that if we only want the first rank, the highest value. So that's what we're doing now. It's a bit more effort, maybe, but you could adopt your code and make it or change it to other ranks, including like the second highest sales target or the third highest if you wanted to. Anyways, let's just get into putting that up. So we want the first name, we want the target, and I'm gonna create a rank. So I'm just gonna spell that out. Rank function over and then in parentheses we need to specify what the what order the rank is based on and this order is based on the sales target in descending order so it kind of takes a table it orders it by target descendingly so the highest target is on top and then it assigns a rank to the values i'm going to show you what that looks like by just specifying the table we're selecting from to salesforce employees and Let's not forget to filter on manager ID being 13. So this gives us the name, the target and the rank. This is just the regular rank function, which gives us gaps in the ranks. So we have one, 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 four, because there's a three way tie at rank one. If I were to change that up to dance rank, it would, what do we run here? It would not uh, create these gaps, it would just go with two and three, no matter how many ties we had for the previous rank. It doesn't matter here because we just select rank one, so yeah, let's just keep it to that. And yeah, that is pretty much our base. Let's also put that into parentheses and give it a name. So let's call that employee target ranked you could be even more specific employee target manager 13 ranked yeah let's also call this rank column target rank to be more specific and yeah now what's left is to just select first name and target from this subquery, this table that we're referring to now, and we'll make sure that that target rank is one. That means they have the highest, the highest rank, the highest sales target. So this one now runs just like this and gives us the expected output. If I click solve, it's gonna be accepted. Here we don't have to filter our manager ID being 13 again because we are selecting from this subquery. And in that subquery, we already filtered to manager ID 13. In the previous solution, in the max solution, we just compare the value to this subquery. The subquery just gives us one value, which is like which is 400, the highest sales target, and we select from something else. So we need to filter there as well. Here we select directly from that other table and that's why we don't have to filter on manager ID again. Yep, that's pretty much it. You can try both of these solutions, play around with the different rank window functions if you hit the link and head on over to stratastretch.com. Apart from that, I have a whole playlist on all of these stratastretch problems. I have a whole playlist on lead code easy, medium and hard question. So take a look and practice some more. I'm gonna see you Another video. Bye-bye.